In this video, we'll show you how to navigate RPR commercial property search and search results. The toggle that allows you to switch between a commercial and residential property search is here. Also note that all other types of search from site selection to commercial map insights can be accessed from the top navigation research menu. Set the toggle to commercial and begin your property search by entering a specific address, APN, or listing ID in the location field to go directly to the property. If you're looking for a piece of land without an address, but you have the APN or tax ID, you can search for that directly from the search bar. You may also find that using the map search found by selecting research from the main navigation is a good way to look for land. If you're searching by multiple APNs or listing IDs at one time, use a semicolon to separate each. In this case, you'll be taken to search results displaying each property. Or you can search for properties in a general area. To do that, first make sure that you have the correct filters set. RPR remembers your last filter settings, but it's a good idea to make sure they're still set properly before beginning your search. You can also quickly remove previously set filters by selecting your filters icon and the reset button. Next, enter a neighborhood, zip code, city, or other defined geography into the location field. As you type, RPR will auto-suggest results based on the location nearest to you. If you select the name of the auto-suggest, your search will automatically be executed. If you started your search without any filters or have too many filters, you can now narrow down your results by selecting the type status for your search. Are you looking for properties that are for sale or for lease? active under contract, or are you looking for off-market public records? Each status has a corresponding calendar that can be used to set the date parameters that will restrict your search to that exact time period. Select your property type. One helpful tip as you're learning how agents in your market prefer to list properties is to keep the commercial property checked, as this is a catch-all property type and can house a mixture of properties that you may be interested in. Select your price or lease price, and enter the building or leasable square footage parameters and or enter the lot size. Note that RPR features a mobile responsive design. This means that the layout will adjust based on screen size. For smaller screens, some search options are moved to the filters area. Select the filters icon to expand the advanced search. You'll immediately see the count of properties matching your criteria. This is a helpful reference that will allow you to better pinpoint the specific properties you're looking for. Note that RPR has a max number of properties that you can search. Once your search area exceeds 5,000 properties, RPR will show a message requesting that you adjust your search filters to narrow down your results. Advanced search filters include distressed actions, land use, and miscellaneous fields such as occupancy type, owner name, year built, time owned, and keyword search. You may also want to consider checking the box to include properties with null or blank values on price per and size fields. Doing so will bring into your results any properties where those details are undisclosed, but may in fact match what you're looking for. Now that we've gone over the basics, let's try out a property search. We'll run a search for properties in the Wynwood neighborhood in Miami, Florida that fit the following criteria. Our client is okay leasing or buying their retail space, so we'll set our search to for sale and for lease. Of course, we'll focus on retail properties, but it's always a good idea to include the commercial property type as well, just to make sure we don't miss out on that perfect space because the listing agent marked it as commercial and not retail. If the space is leased, our client is okay with a minimum of spending $15 per square foot annually and up to $25, and want a space that is between 1,000 and 3,000 square feet. We'll also include properties with null or blank values on price per and size fields in the advanced filter options. Select Update and Search. Arrive at the search results on the list view. To continue narrowing down your results, select the Filters icon and adjust the parameters of your search. Quickly sort your results by using this dropdown or simply by clicking on one of the column headers. We've identified properties that have multiple versions with the multiple listings link. By clicking here, you can select which version of the property you want to start off viewing, and know that there may be different details on the other property that you should review. Save properties by clicking the heart icon. The property is automatically named after the street address, but you can type a new name if desired. Then select Save, and the property will be added to your saved properties. Your saved properties are listed on the home page or accessed from the top navigation by choosing My Work and My Saved Properties. 
If you're looking for a printable view of the search results, select the properties you want by using the corresponding checkboxes and then selecting Print. A window will open allowing you to print only selected properties or all results. One thing to note here is that all results will print the properties currently showing on your screen. If you have a large number of properties to print, make sure to scroll to the bottom of the screen to view all your results. From this results list, you can also create mailing labels or similar data to export into a CSV, which is great for importing building and owner details into your customer relationship management system. Do that by selecting mailing labels from your search results and then walking through the on-screen prompts. Or go straight to creating a report by selecting Create Report. View your properties the way you want to view them. This current view is the list view. You can change to a photo grid view or to the map view by selecting these icons. The photo grid view gives you a way to view larger photos on the property. And finally, you can view properties on the map view. We'll go into further details on map searches in the Commercial Map Insights video, but from this view you can further define your own search areas by drawing them on the map or by displaying the outlines of geographies such as neighborhoods, zip codes, opportunity zones, and more. Once you've found a property that you want to review further, select it to view the full property details. We hope you found this tutorial on searching properties helpful. Be sure to subscribe to the RPR YouTube channel. It's an easy way to learn more about RPR features and tools and stay current on updates and improvements.